Did I shave? No! Hey, hey! It's so great to be in your city! Who's from Nashville? Who's pumped to be here? Who's drunk? Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness, what a warm, beautiful welcoming. Thank you. Everyone, please put your hands together for our favourite Energizer Bunny, the sexy, unstoppable Libby Tanner! Over there, baby. <laughs> Got your microphone over there. Don't you steal my microphone. <laughs> oh my god, look at you all. What a turnout. I can't believe it. Oh my god, there's my girlfriend I haven't seen for 30 years and who is uh, responsible for me losing my voice in Nashville. I thought yesterday. you were going to say losing your virginity. <laughs> Because you've been in the stage work and obviously do a lot of screen work as well and have done, can you talk to us what it feels like for you to go from theatre to to um, uh, the screen. screen? Because it's a big. I get. I, I know I get asked that question quite a lot. But for you, what's it like? And can you explain maybe you know the differences for you? Well, I think you know the obvious is, is that it's a lot more intimate. There's a lot more trust with your audience because it's it's a ride that you go on together. And um, I think when you walk out there feeling the energy like I'm feeling now, I can feel all your energy, you can't help but butterfly with it. And so that feeling of um, kind of that bubbling sensation in your heart is pulsating and it's, it's a different kind of pulse from when you're on set because there's a hundred people around you on set and I call them tuggers, you know. Like, you know, is your hair right? Is your I wouldn't call right? those people tuggers. I, I call them tuggers. <laughs> I'd be like, they're all like puggers. I know. They're tuggers. Well, they're you're all tugger. There you go, you little tugger. I call them the, they're, they're part of the spunk bus. Don't you call them, you know, the tuggers? In the spunk bus tuggers very early in the morning for that kind of day. <laughs> All your tugging and spunk bus needs Libby Tanner. I tell you, when you turn up uh, and you look the way you look at four in the morning and you just look at these people, you go, for God's sake, sit down and just then an hour and a half later you open your eyes and go, oh, thank God, give me the camera now, I'm ready. It is magical what they do. They're incredible. But look, the, I think the real difference is, is the energy that the audience is giving you and you ride with that. You can feel if you're losing them throughout the night and you can feel that, you know, you push it a bit more, you rev it up and... But look, when people are on a, um, the story with you and they're following it with you, there's nothing better than, and nothing more satisfying than telling that story properly so that you can, it's cathartic. Have you ever have you had any experiences on stage, because you've done a bit of theatre before, that you've gone, oh no, like you, you lose the lines because there's no cut. There's no like, cut, we've got to go again because Cormac's fucked her lines up again. <laughs> it's like you have to keep going and you've got all these eyes like right now on you. Have, what, have you got a story yeah. that you're like, oh, oh, oh no? Uh, well, well what, what do you do? We were talking about this earlier, Dan. I said, you know, what do you do? I haven't, I can't really remember forgetting my lines to the point where I'm just going, sorry, I'm lost. But you said you did that once. And I went, you didn't. You oh, turned yeah, to the no, audience and went, before. shall we just go back a bit? And I went, whoa, I've never done that. I think I just kind of improvised my way out. But I am really happy you told me that story. So if it happens, I'm just going to say, Dan Cormack said, it's all right if we can just start this bit again. <laughs> I always think, you know, that, 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 that as, as, you know, as, as humans, no one is perfect. And we, yeah. um, apart from you, of course. Um, <laughs> but, you that know, so like, we love seeing, especially when there's people on stage or people that are at the point of focus, it's okay to be human. Yeah. And I think it allows us all to, to be that way and forgive moments when we trip up or we, you know, nothing is going perfectly. You know, I, I, and, I, and I love, you know, when, when things don't go that well. I love it. Mm. It's that human element that we all share. And Do you know my favourite thing? Story 
that um yeah it's no, that so my, my favorite thing in the world is seeing people tripping up yeah. <laughs> i just fucking love it <laughs> like you know when they trip you up like you you know we're okay too you know no it's, it's my favorite thing and even more so when they trip i probably told you guys this but when they trip up when people trip and they go <laughs> and they they look at the ground as though it's the ground's fault <laughs> I've seen that. that. I've seen it's that. The best. Like I, I, it's my. I'm not. I, and when I say favorite, I'm not just saying that in a hyperbolic way. It is literally my favorite thing in the world. Yeah. yeah. So it's been. A, it was a long flight, but it's great to be here. Like Libby was saying before, the energy in the room, and we get really invigorated being here. So. And what a full room. Good on you for turning up. What a great show. Out. I just. Think, I think the rooms are getting smaller, and they just put the chairs closer together now. <laughs> To make us feel that's like that's it's a full that. room. There's going to be like <laughs> 10 of you in like five years' time. We'll be like, yay, it's full house. <laughs> we'll be here. A theatre for 12. Sold out tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working. <laughs> and we'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what was that? What was that? Oh, with. Oh, that's right. with. <laughs> do you, <laughs> do, you uh, do you still get recognised or people talk to you about it in in, in Australia? Oh, sure, yeah, every yeah. day, every day. You know, it's a Wentworth um, story, and and it has kind of affected so many people who watch. It's it's a great. It's a great show for that, isn't it? I mean, we always keep saying, what an amazing thing that you can all relate to these stories and these characters because there's so many times I'm never sick of people telling me their stories about how they can relate to Bridget, how Bridget's helped them, you know, feel okay about coming out and, and just about love. And I'm just going, God, I didn't even know that was the thing that you couldn't you sort of just, you know, love whoever you wanted to love. But, you know, when the gods, there's apparently how many churches here in Nashville? Oh, <laughs> 750 oh, churches and 5,000 pubs. So we've got honestly, too many down here. We've got too many. We don't want to uh, offend anyone. But yes, <laughs> but, but it's come a long way. We have progressed. And I think back in the first days of um, when I was working on television on Pacific Drive, I was playing a lesbian. Joe Porter was producing oh, that. Why show. you just said a lesbian? Oh, that's just, that's just, that's just giving a little flair there. A lesbian, only half open. <laughs> do, you, do you? Do you? Uh, just because we're both on stage now together, the, the, the hashtag "fuck the labels" moment, you know, was uh, you know, pretty profound. Like, I, I do. You get lots of feedback still about that moment. Every time I you ask me to sign the autograph, it's can you write "fuck the labels"? And I'm like. Fuck the labels, Libby Tanner. Or, Can you write cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Libby Tanner, I'm just going, Mum, you'd be so proud of me. Can give it up for our baby, the sublime Kate Jingo Here. Is that true? Yeah. So happy to have popped your cherry. <laughs> and so nice to see some familiar faces. Well. You're positively splooshing your seats. <laughs> but before I bring her up, we have to reel her video. Lou Kelly. She's like Top Dog way back before B, before Jax. Those bitches have no idea. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
you for coming out tonight. What a big night then. Well, just bumped in some chicks on the way who said they had to tease something convention about chicks getting shipped and shipped. So I thought I'd come and hang out with you all and practice my game side on you. Oh, shit, hold on. about me. I'm a cunning stuntman. I've just come to uh, Nashville to try and make it in the big movies. So I'm just uh, auditioning and stuff. And uh, I've got a manager here tonight who's gonna, he's watching me on stage to see if I've got a bit of performance. Acu men. Acu woman. See what I did there. So I thought, yeah, that we could play some games tonight. I like ladies. I like lots of ladies. I like boobs. I didn't know I had those. Shots. I'm going to have fun tonight, eh? Uh, yeah, I like to play games. Do you like to play games? some bingo cards. Oh, I've got a special game that I like to call Sexy Bingo. So tonight we're going to play Sexy Bingo. Because it's business time to play Sexy Bingo. You all up for that? I've got a prize too for the winners. Yeah, that's a spirit. Speaking of spirits, who's drunk? It means there's more chance for us later, eh? <laughs> oh, is that inappropriate? Totes and probes, I am. Okay, I reckon we turn the lights on and we uh, get some light on the cards. See the numbers and we can start to play. Sexy bingo! Is everyone, can everyone see their numbers? Oh, like me, you know, hot young guys. You know, with blue beards and, you know, well endowed. <laughs> and the personality stakes. Just wondering if anyone would like to tell you. Yeah. Oh, just a lovely kid, too. You know, lovely kid looking for a few drinks. Looking for some fun. Looking for some horny bitches to hang out with. Poor oh, guys, you know I swing my way every now and then. You know, what's the point of doing, you know, it's all for choice and all that. But while they fix my hole, I'm just riffing with you guys here. Yeah. Maybe I could throw a rose out to one of you guys. They're real, I grew them. I grew them especially last night. A special kind of, it's called the plastic rose variety. Maybe that's the one that I go out with tonight. Where are you, baby? Oh, where are you? Who, who picked it up? Oh, honey. Hot. Oh, 